from Roots TV and I'm here at the Red Cross Centre. We're going to be covering an amazing event. Please stay tuned. This is Zach from Roots TV, and I'm here at the Red Cross Centre with Jane and Magdi. Thank you. So Jane, please tell us more about this project. Okay. Well, basically, the youth program that Red Cross offers, basically, it's a six-month program. And it's basically the first three months, it's about learning about Red Cross. You get to do a World of Red Cross course, which has about 18 modules. And you learn about what Red Cross is all about, its principles, its values, how it works with other organizations, and how it responds to disaster. And after that, you get to also interview clients, and uh, they will tell you about their story and what they're looking for, who they've lost, and you basically the team leader will teach you how to enter those information onto the database, and uh, which is the FLA database called Family Links Answers, and also it teaches you about when you get cases of people that have lost their loved ones, how you can check whether they are eligible for them to be look for, to find their loved ones and you get to learn about cases that are coming from overseas and the processes that it goes through so that's the basically the first three months so it's more like in the office and you learn a lot of about admin work and everything and you do presentations as well and research because when a clients come in and said look I'm from Sudan usually go on the internet and sort of research you know and find a bit of an idea of what's happening in the different camps that are there you know and the second three months you have to go to the community and you basically talk to community leaders, promote the service, tell them what tracing is all about, which is basically trying to restore contact with um, family members that you've lost because of conflicts, because of disaster and because of um, migration. And that's basically it and tell them about how they can promote the service to others. So that's what the, in a summary, that's what the program's all about. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. Now, Magdi, please tell us why volunteering is very important. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, volunteering is very important because sometimes uh, these programs don't, don't have the capacity to have the funding you know, available. So uh, it's important to have people that have a little bit of free time to come and share with others or other um, services. You know? So uh, volunteers are very important. Uh, for the community, because uh, you sometimes you find the volunteers are from the community themselves, and um, also you'll find it a lot of volunteers that they have profession as well. So it's important to have uh, these people, you know, to to be volunteers, and um, and uh, you know, so like our work a tracing team is it's a free service, you know. So um, if you have volunteers that can do the job, that is important for the community more important you know to, to get more of them and a lot of them out there as well Zach from Roots TV 
and I'm here with Selena. We're at the Red Cross Centre. Would you like to share with us, Selena? Uh, yes, um, I came here to find out more information about this um, tracing service that is provided by the Red Cross. Okay, It's such a great service because uh, they are trying to link uh, between the missing um, people all right uh, who are separated through war families who are separated through wars all right and i cried many many times watching the videos just now all right um families who have been separated for 25 years and they managed to find you had a good chance at looking at the exhibition what are your thoughts about it um it offers such a great insight uh to what happened in uh in the bosnian war all right um this is actually another Holocaust. Peop it's, it's very sad because people that you trust, your neighbours, your friends for life, you know, suddenly uh, went against you and then, you know, do not care or whatever memories, the values that you've shared and, you know, uh, and they just, they just, uh, what you call, turn away from you and then, you know, kill you without, without, thinking twice you know of, of the friendship and the memories that you shared between friends okay hi guys this is Zach again and I'm here with Mill so Mill tell us about the project today well, thank you Zach uh, yes, today's project uh, was organized by our youth uh, volunteers who have been part of a six-month program um, it's called our youth engagement program and it's designed to um, train up young people to learn about our service which is restoring family links the Restoring Family Link service restores contact between family members who are separated due to war, conflict, disaster or migration. And so we've been training up them for about three months. Um, and they learn all about the service and how we work and then they go out to communities and they speak to community members about what we do. Uh, they organise this event as a way of bringing those community members to our migration hub today so they could learn more about the service and hear about some of the outcomes that we've had. We've had some amazing achievements in the last month um, and we wanted to share those with the community so they're aware of the difference our service makes. So Mel, how do we know more about your project? Sure, people can give us a call um, if they want to hear more about it. They can call 9225 8886 and have a chat to me. I'm the team leader for WA and can tell them about when our applications open and what the process is to, to apply and get involved. Um, alternatively, they can email us at waitrs at redcross.org.au. Uh, we'd be happy to get their email and provide them with some information on the youth program. It runs for six months from June to December each year. And yeah, as I said, we would advertise in about April um, and people would be interviewed and then notified if they're successful. <laughs> <laughs>